Is this week reached historic levels. 26% of registered voters hit the polls Tuesday in the highest primary level since 1982. Unofficial results show nearly 639,000 people voted in Republican races, while more than 501,000 voted for Democrats in the primary for U.S. Senate. And that sets up two major contests November 8th. Incumbent Governor Tony Evers will face Republican businessman Tim Michaels. Now, former President Trump, if you recall, endorsed Michaels just last month. Republican U.S. Senator Ron Johnson will try for a third term in office this fall. He'll face Democratic Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes.